All right, quick disclaimer, okay? Obey all the FFA laws. Don't fly over 400 feet, fly within line of sight. I mean, you guys know the rules, follow the rules, okay? This video is not intended to tell you to go out there and break the FFA rules. Um, changing the settings on your drone, that's your own personal property. As long as you don't break the law with that property, I believe it's completely okay to change the settings if you want to. So, that being said, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I did my best to make it enjoyable and fun to watch and not just some boring video. So, hit like, hit subscribe, any questions. Shoot them down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next video because you're clicking subscribe right now, right? Later. Good morning, humans and people. So you want to make your spark a little bit faster. This video is going to take you through the parameter changes and what you need to do in order to change the parameters on your spark and make it a little bit faster. You can go about 50 miles an hour. Uh, you ascend at about 8 to 10 miles an hour. You descend at 8 to 10 miles an hour. You can go almost 50 miles an hour in sport mode. Oh, and the braking gain is slowed down. So it takes longer to brake, which gives you smoother braking when you are recording video. First thing you're gonna need is a uh, laptop and one of these little plug-in little deals. Go to the drone, you know, USB cord. I mean, you will need a phone at one point for flying, but for right now, all you need is the drone, a controller, and your phone, and a computer. But I got some sunglasses because I've lost a lot of ND filters. I don't have any more ND filters. And I seen something online and it gave me an idea. I think I'm just going to start making my own out of cheap $1 sunglasses because I lose them so much. I don't want to keep buying them. So let's change your parameters. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to, I'm going to need to pause this and gather myself so I can give you a better video. How's that? This should help. So first thing you want to do is go to Go to flyflydrones.com. I'm hoping you guys can read this. Next thing you want to do is download. DJI Assistant 1. Point one point two. So go to flyflydrones.com, download DJI Assistant 1.1.2. The other thing you want to do is you want to go to
notepad++.com. That's going to allow you to change your source file so that you can change your parameters which are stored in your source file which are in the... We'll get to that. So you want Notepad++. There's another one that already comes on your computer on a lot of computers. I don't remember what it's called. I know that one works too. But I know 100% this is how I've always done it is with Notepad++. So I just downloaded it. I encourage you to do the same thing because I'm not going to promise you anything's going to work unless you do it exactly like I show you here. So once you have Notepad++ downloaded, DJI Assistant 1.1.2 downloaded, the next step is to begin changing your parameter. DJI Assistant 2 looks like this. So you open that. It's going to ask to make changes to your computer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to Notepad++. Icon looks like this, Notepad++, then click on that. Come over here to file. You're gonna open. You're gonna come down here to your Windows C drive. You're gonna go to this PC, Windows C drive, Program Files x86. Come down here to DJI product. DJI Assistant 2. App Files. And then come down here to Main. One. Highlight it so you know what you're talking about. If you want to copy this file. Okay, open the file, and this is what it looks like. You can see all this technical jargon. So you want to scroll down, 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 down until you see something that says main window. All by itself. See it there? main window okay so when you get here and you come in here this is what you're gonna see is what it's gonna look like up right above main window dot on close on close event right above that it says the same thing but it says dot web contents dot open dev tool what you want to do is you want to delete the space as well as delete the two forward slashes once you delete those, then you want to control S. So it says the file cannot be saved, it may be protected. Do you want to launch in administrator mode? Typically I would say yes and then just save it. If you're in administrator mode, you're already good. You just need permissions to be able to change the files like this. So. 
Anyways, I'm gonna hit no because I've already done all this. I've already taken all these steps, so I don't need to do this. But typically, you would want to run yes, run it as administrator. That way, it will allow you the permission to change the file. But I'm gonna click no. Once you have saved it, you don't need to do anything else. All you do is close notepad. So. Okay, so once you've done all that, you come over here to resources. If you do not see resources here on the top, for instance, mine did not show it, you might have to click over here, like where it says profiles, that's where mine was, and I didn't know where resources was, and it took me forever to figure out all I had to do was click right here, and there's resources. Once you're in resources, you come down to debug. Double click on that. Replace the zero with a one. Push enter to save it. Double click on false. Replace it with T-R-U-E. True. Press enter to save it. Now you are ready to plug in the spark. So you plug in your spark. There's the spark, you're already in debugging mode. As soon as you open it, you have all these additional options over here that you can go through. So close this window so you can see what you're doing. And if you scroll down just a little bit right here, look at that, parameters. So now that you've opened the parameters, you have a filter up here, and you type in the different things that you want to change. So I suggest just searching keywords. So I would type mode, M-O-D-E, underscore, sport, S-P, there's all your values that you want to mess with. So all you do is you double click on them to change them. After you change it, you push enter and it's saved. You don't have to do anything else, just close the program after you uh, change the value and press enter. So the Addy Tilt range, I believe it's at 35 and you want to change it to 60. No, it's at 40, that's what it is. It's at 40, you want to change it to 60. Uh, the breaking gain is not on this section. That's the only one you got to go somewhere else for. These values, um, down I believe is at like 5 or 6. And I'll show you a picture right here. Boom. second one and this one they just suck and I couldn't figure out why and then it dawned on me it's because I changed the parameters on my first one and it was awesome so it does take a minute to get used to and it is a little scary and intim and intimidating at first get past it it's worth it don't put these parameter changes on your drone and let it get you all scared to where you're afraid to fly if you're afraid of how fast it is, then fly higher above things to where you can't hit anything. And ease your way into the more technical and critical flying. Otherwise, you're going to be able to go to about 50 miles an hour. And so, I know a guy 
who has a spark that's done this change and has gotten over two and just over two and a half miles on a range test. Two and a half miles in one direction and made it back on a stock battery and a stock drone. The only change has been in the settings. No physical changes or battery additions or anything like that. It is what it is. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is how to change your parameters. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, go to Drone Modifications, the Facebook page, or check out Oregon Native, the Facebook page. Um, they're both my pages. I just made the Drone Modifications one. I haven't even really been on it yet. I just made it for purposes like this video. You can go on there and you can ask your questions and get a detailed response from me to help you through whatever part you're confused at. If you have any confusion, like I said, just get a hold of me in the comments below. And if you have a spark, I'm going to start making videos to show you guys everything that I've done and everything I've learned about the spark so far because there's too many people out there that just make videos of uh, like how to's about the spark but it's all just basic stuff like I feel like there should be more videos about like cool extra things you can do with the spark things that you wouldn't think you could do or you're not supposed to be able to do so as I figure things out I'll share them with you guys so hit that subscribe button hopefully this video wasn't too boring I don't like boring videos so I made it entertaining. Let's go fly the spark. And I'll show you a little screen recording of my dashboard so you can see how fast it gets up to. Peace. Alright, so we're gonna get up in the air and I'm gonna do a screen recording so you can see my dashboard so you can see how fast the drone is actually going while it's up there. So, let's get in the air.